Hi everyone, my name is Vince and welcome to my App Station review. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers right now, so thank you all so much for the amazing support. You guys have got me to where I am now and I appreciate it so much. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and of course thank you very much for watching. Let's kick off this review now. If you did not know, AppStation is a money-making application that will reward the player with coins every time they complete a level within a game. Now, once you have those coins, depending on your country, you can then convert them into real-life money. So here in Australia, for instance, I can convert my coins into PayPal and iTunes currency. And by the way, if you plan on using AppStation, don't skip through this video because you're gonna wanna know all the details, especially if you're from a country like like the Philippines or Thailand or Indonesia because these apps pay differently depending on your country. Now looking at AppStation's advertisements, you'd think that you could earn hundreds of, you know, currency from this application. But even before starting AppStation, right, I already threw that idea out the window. Guys, we've played enough of these money-making applications to understand that the advertisement is complete rubbish. And the thing is, I don't know why they do it for because they really set people up for disappointment. When I installed AppStation, I was rewarded with a 4,500 coin bonus. And the way that the currency system works is that every single time you complete a level on AppStation, you get rewarded with these coins. And again, depending on your country, you might actually earn coins per minute for playing games instead of completing levels. So what you will have to do is download AppStation and find out what the reward system will be because the application is unique for everyone. And the reason for this mainly is because the games that AppStation will offer you will mainly depend on your gender, your age, and what country you're from. That is right, everyone. Me here in Australia will have a different look to you guys in let's say the Philippines or Indonesia or even America. This to me causes a huge headache because I have to try and review these money-making apps for you guys out there, but then when you install the application, it's completely different for you. I hate when developers do this because I feel like it singles certain countries out and makes them earn much less than another country. And I'm sure you all agree out there. Now, my experience with AppStation was mixed. And the main reason for that is because I experienced a problem I face on almost all these types of money-making applications. And that is the fact that they did not reward me for some of the games that I played. And I'm talking like two to three hours worth of gameplay was not counted towards my app station currency. Now you can imagine how annoying this is guys, especially since we have to work so hard to actually earn the currency in the game in the first place. And when it doesn't actually register the gameplay that we have for it, it causes massive problems. And I understand that you can maybe contact AppStation through their support email, but who wants to do that? No one would want to do that, right? You expect these money-making apps to get it right the first time, since we're dedicating our own personal time to play these apps. It's almost like the tracking is broken on certain games on AppStation and these other money-making applications. And luckily enough for us, AppStation actually features a wallet. And this wallet is where you can see all your earnings that you have on AppStation. And I was checking this wallet almost every single time I completed a level on a game which again is very unnecessary and really annoying. AppStation actually offered me different applications to earn these coins from, which I do appreciate not playing the same apps over and over again like I have been recently on these money-making applications. Because yes, guys, there were some unique apps that I did play, such as a beehive game, a car wash game, and a game where you have to grow a baby. Yes, that is right, grow a baby. But again, everyone, here we go, because on that car wash game, AppStation did not count for any of the gameplay that I invested into that game. And I checked back, they still have not rewarded me, so that time is just completely missing. The same thing happened to that baby game as well. This is a big problem, everyone, okay? And this is why you have to be careful with these applications. Though on a more positive note, when AppStation did pay me for the applications, 
they actually were quite fun to play. I had an idle game where you run a sushi restaurant, a bike racing game, an island building game. Now, just a little tip here, everyone. Those idle games are the best way to actually earn money on App Station, in my opinion. And that's mainly because you just have to sit there and let the game play itself. So all you need to do is literally press some buttons. So I would actually sit down and watch YouTube while I had the phone on the table with the idle game playing on it by itself. It's a very smart move, everyone, and I reckon that you should all do it. It will save you a lot of time if you're able to play these idle games like I was. Now, let's talk about the cash out options on App Station. I decided to go with PayPal because that's what I use here in my country. But in saying that, depending on what country you're from, you'll have completely different options for cashing out. So your minimum cash out might look completely different to my minimum cash out. Here in Australia, the minimum cash out for PayPal was 9,900 coins for $1.30. And the highest amount was 182,000 coins for $26.70. For iTunes though, I only had two options for cashing out. One was for $10 for 70,000 coins and one was for $15 for 104,000 coins. Those were my really only options to cash out on App Station. But now let me show you what it might look for someone living in the Philippines. Look at this everyone. As you can see, it's a very, very different compared to my cash out screen here in Australia. Their minimum cash outs are different. They have an actual different cash out option. It's pretty crazy, right, how this application changes depending on your country gender and age. If it was not for that wallet system though, I would constantly be stressing out if the game is actually going to reward me for the time spent on it. I absolutely hated the fact that I had to keep checking the wallet over and over again. It was so frustrating everyone. In this time and age, you'd think that these money making applications would be able to record your time accurately. That is a massive problem with AppStation for me. And I know I've mentioned it a few times, but you have no idea how annoying it is to think that you're not going to get paid everyone. But now I want to talk to you all about how long it actually took me to get to $3 worth of cash out on AppStation. I spent around 13 hours playing games for AppStation to earn $3 Australian currency. You are not hearing that wrong everyone. 13 hours of time for $3. Now look, I understand if I was just to leave my phone on the table and not do anything. But the problem is, that is not what you have to do for App Station here in Australia. I had to complete levels, so I had to actually play these applications mainly. Even with the idle games, I still had to play them and watch ads. So that amount of time invested into this application in my books makes it not that good of a money making application. If you are able to earn more than I did in that 13 hour a span then you are very lucky and this application might be actually worth something to you but for me that was a massive waste of time 13 hours everyone for three dollars but all of that does not matter if the application does not pay and just a warning out there i've had many people be upset because they've tried to use these applications with vpns and they get banned guys i'm sorry but you cannot use vpns with these apps the developers have caught on to VPNs and they're banning them. I can't do anything about it. I'm just a YouTuber, okay? These are the developers that are making these rules. If you can't use AppStation, check out my channel's playlist of real paying applications. I'm certain you'll find one in your country there as we now have 50 real paying apps on a playlist. AppStation also features a face verification system and an email verification system. So... Make sure you sign up with a valid email address and be ready to show your face on a selfie picture. That's just how it works now, everyone. As I said, these companies are getting more stricter, but they're also making it more harder to earn money, which I don't really understand. Now, for the moment of truth, did AppStation actually pay me or not? Well, everyone, after submitting the verification that was requested of me, I got paid within 24 hours of that initial request, which is awesome to see. But again, 13 hours for $3. I'm happy that it did actually reward us, but I'm also not happy because of how long it actually took to earn that money. Mind you, with the amount of advertisements I watched, these developers probably made easily $20 or $30 off me. And that's being generous, everyone. I'm sure they earned even more. All I can show you is my experience. It is now up to you to investigate this application yourself and see if it's worth it or not for you in your country. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in one to two days. Stay safe out there. See you around.